Are you using large language models? With the tools available today, we can take control of our AI-powered applications and most importantly, keep them private. In this video, we will run LLMs on our local machine. Take a step further by self-hosting our own models and integrate them into our Django app. So let's get started. Olama is an open source tool designed for running LLMs on our local machine without relying on cloud dependencies or internet connection. It's like running your own AI chatbot privately. So let's start by downloading Olama. We go to the website and click on download. After installing, Olama will run on localhost port 11434. You can check it by opening in your browser. When you open localhost 11434, you should see the message Olama is running. So now that we know that Olama is running, we can go to the terminal and pull a model by running Olama pull and the name of the model. With the model available, we can run the model by typing Olama run and the name of the model. So now the model is running, we can send a message. That's it. That's all you need to run LLMs on your computer and some computer power. Next, let's create a Python script and check how we can run the model. For that, we are going to use a library called Olama. We can go to the terminal and install Olama. With this done, let's create the Olama client using our local Olama. Now we can call generate. Here we pass the name of the model, the prompt, and let's set string to false for now. We can then print the response. Okay, so let's run the script. Great, it's working. Now let's create a Django app that tells us whether we should store an item in the fridge or not using LLMs. Let's start by setting Oloma host in our settings.py. In our views.py, let's create a view that receives the input and call the model. We then send the response through the context. Let's check how it works in practice. I'm running the model on my computer. The response is not being streamed, so it takes a few seconds to load. We can also stream the response, but that's a topic for another video. Running AI workloads locally may not be the best fit for your use case. Your hardware may not have the power or scalability you need. So what can you do? Well, you could use an externally hosted model or you could self-host one. So the thing is, the same way we can deploy Python apps to fly.io, we can also deploy an Olama app that runs models on Fly GPUs. First, we need to have Fly CTL installed. To deploy Olama on Fly GPUs, I'm using this repo that contains the Fly Tomo file with all the specifications. Here is the list of regions with Fly GPUs. Olama has a public Docker image. That's what we are going to use. We go to an empty folder and run fly launch. Here I'm specifying the organization using copy config flag to use the existing fly toml file from the GitHub repo as a template. Finally, I'm using flycast to allocate a private IPv6 address. So it's important to say that you will pay for GPU usage, but our Olama app is set to stop when idling, meaning you only pay for what you use. Now let's SSH to the machine and pull the model. Done. Our Olama app running on Fly GPUs has access to our model. Since we launched our app with the Flycast flag, a private IPv6 address was allocated. We can see that by running fly IPs list. This is important to keep our app private, meaning only apps in the same organization will be able to access it through the fly private network. That's great for privacy, but how do we access the model? We can use fly proxy to connect to a fly machine through the WireGuard tunnel. So Oloma is running locally on port 11434. Let's run our self-host Oloma on port 11435. 
On the terminal, we run fly proxy, the local port 11435, and the remote port 11434, and the name of the app dot internal, so my app can communicate with Olama. We are finally able to access our self-hosted Olama in localhost 11435. Now, to connect our local Django app to Olama running on fly GPUs, Let's change Olama host in the settings.py. There it is. We are now running our app locally connected to our self-hosted Olama running on Fly GPUs over our Fly private network. So we are ready to deploy the app. Let's create our app in the same organization as our Olama app by running Fly Launch. Once the app is deployed in the same organization, we will be able to access our private Olama app through the Flycast domain. But before that, we need to set Olama host. We can set by running Fly Secret Set, or you can do it directly on your settings.py. Once that's done, we can run Fly Deploy. We now have our Django app deployed and accessing our self hosted Olama. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye.